what type of wool do you use? I started with commercial yarns, but now all these yarns are natural yarns. I thought I could tell the, the, yeah, the natural variation dye. and the color mm -hmm. that shows that it's... Except like, for the black. The background, because I cannot get a good black and thin okay. enough in, really? you know, in the natural yarn. I use a commercial yarn that is thin, so I can do my mm -hmm. outlines better and my faces. Well, I kind of taught myself how to do culture, but I would like to take. Oh, wonderful! Well, I'd like to take a lesson and see how other people, you know. Oh wow! Isn't that beautiful? Start again. <laughs> now you're going to start uh -huh. three stitches downward till you, when you get here, stop and I'll tell you what to do. Okay, bring the yarn through a little more. There. Now you'll bring your needle right up to this end. And then you straighten that out. Okay. Oh. No, this way. Okay. Oops. Boy, how does that song go? To dream the impossible dream. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't do two, just one. Oh, okay. And pull it this way. Yeah. Okay, now is that good and firm that we can bring this down just a little more. Now, what you're going to do, like when I taught you to stitch, you're going to mm -hmm. bring this tiny stitch in there, mm -hmm. and you're going to do it about every half inch. Oh. And that's what you're doing with culture. You're tacking your long oh, yarn. Okay. And then... Right? Okay, you want to bring it over your yarn. Okay. Remember, you're tacking this. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Right. So I'm going this way. No, you're going straight up on the line. Okay. Follow that line. No, you're not on the line. You're too close. Bring okay. it up about a half inch. Okay. Good. Now bring your yarn over. Underneath? No, just over. like this. Okay. Yeah, remember you're tacking a little right about here. Okay. Yeah, she's getting it. <laughs> oh, miracles do happen. <laughs> just get it. So what you're doing now, you're tacking that little I one right in there. I have to tack that mm -hmm. in there. Okay. So should I do one more stitch before I get there? Maybe one more. Oop, nope. I did it wrong. No, just oh, bring it over. Okay. Now see, when mm -hmm. I tell you to tack the small, mm -hmm. and you're going about a half, so it's looking neat. Okay. So that will start looking kind of like this. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay. Now you start back up just like you oh. did, but you're bringing it close to this. Okay. I'm going, okay. And after you do it a few times, you get so used to it, it's just, you just go. It's second nature. Yeah. Okay. But learning is, you know, takes a little time. Oops. I don't think you got no, it. No, I there. didn't get that one. Nope. <laughs> just start, just bring it over again. All right. There we go. There you go. You're getting it. <laughs> Oops. Got to stay in the line. And sometimes you can bring your stitches a little more than a half inch if you want, but not too much. Right. Most colchettas, they all have their own 
method oh. of their spacing. Okay. And some of them, if you look at culture, you'll see some that's loose, not tight. Oh. But I like the work tight and close. <gasps> Oops. Yeah. Good. Now you'll <laughs> learn how to thread your yarn. Now, Colcha, it came early with the Conquistadores, mm -hmm. but I, I think Colcha is a European stitch. You had it there. And the reason they call it with the Spanish is because we were the first to bring it. <laughs> oh. Now, Colcha, the word Colcha means bedspread. Oh, it does? Yes. Oh, wow. And there's my little thread there. Okay. So uh, what they used to do, they'd make their own fabric, sabania, which is this. And is that right? The, yeah. Okay. They used it for bedspreads. Okay. And what the women would do sometimes, there was a little hole here or there in the sabania, they would do a flower or a culture stitch oh, how beautiful. to cover up the hole. And then I'm going to go here. Yeah, I'm going to go here. So... Flowers and decorative decorative things for bedspreads and stuff like that. When did they start? Well, a lot of them were an artists and they did what they could. In fact, I'll show you a book that has the oldest signs of what were really on some of those cultures. Oh, and uh, you get... Southwest. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is oh, one bird. Oh, and then it also says what colors they used. Oh, wow. Apparently that was the wings, the tail. This is a very popular bird oh, in culture. Oh, wow. And this bird I use a lot. I call it the Dolly Parton, because look at the huge breast. <laughs> uh, this is a flower that I love, right. a culture flower. Oh, that's beautiful. And when I do it, I do this in green, yellow, mm -hmm. pinks, and reds. But so you would it start... It all depends on the culture. You, would, you could start something like this with this stitch, or we... Yes. What kind of design could I do with this? Uh, you mean... can do a flower, the birds, oh. uh, Well, since many I've designs. started this, maybe an ocean. Well, I could do a bird. So what would the rooster look like in color? Okay, I'll show you what rooster and that one bird I showed you will look like in color. Let me get this. <gasps> you see, even photographs of Colcha, you can see where it shows oh, there's tiny stitches wow. in the back. So to keep a record of that, it was all... <gasps> there's that oh, bird in color goodness. with the black background. Now you see... The culture, you are using mm -hmm. the basic stitch. Mm -hmm. It is used here on the tail. Oh. We're going straight, and here we curve. And then um, wow. when I do this, I like doing a leaf where I do the two different tones. Oh, and color. wow, that's beautiful, Monica. Beautiful. You're going to have to get a new book soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're filling it the up. The Matachin is done in oh, culture with the wow. church and everything. And the most difficult part with the Matachin is here was the background. Because oh. when you're doing background, sometimes you can miss a stitch. Right. And then you have to go right back into it. Now I'll show you when I'm working on it. <gasps> oh! Oh! And, and no. this was Nostra Senora de Atocha. Now oh. she's not on Sabania, she's just on a regular cotton cloth. Well, that's still beautiful cloth. Mm -hmm. It's very, very beautiful. And if you notice, she has the little Santonio de Atocha, yes. the flowers. And I'll tell you what's hard in culture when you're doing tiny areas. Mm -hmm. And I hate doing the faces, but all you can do for faces is almost just put two lines, two lines. Oh my gosh. Because you can't, it's not like and painting. Can I see the back? Sure. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at the detail. Wow. Unbelievable. It's very beautiful. Just beautiful. This is Our Lady of Guadalupe. Mm. And this fabric again is called... This is Sabania. This is what they used with the first culture. So. Oh, wow. And as you see, they probably used a very fine, oh. fine thread to do the weaving. Wow. And to beautiful. draw on it is hard. So if you notice too, when I'm going to do the race, you notice I did so mm -hmm. yarn right there, and I'll follow as my guideline. Oh wow! So this Madonna is, and right here is the same stitch you're doing. Oh my gosh! Yeah, but look at yours. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just ignore this one. Since you're <laughs> I wouldn't get any awards for that, I'm sure. 
<laughs> no, we, we took it off. Oh, yay. <laughs> but when you turn out uh, doing cold gym, make sure you're the corner side. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. No, God, those are huge stitches. No. <laughs> Human knee.